On a cloudy day in Torino, the former capital of Italy, 25 strangers headed to the farmer's market where we would collect cherries, squash blossoms, herbs, and cheese. We headed to the mountains 40 minutes away where we found ourselves in a jaw-dropping castle in the center of a tiny hilltop village. After settling in, we quickly got to work. Unfamiliar hands and accents from every corner of the world. But despite these vast differences in lifestyle and language, laughter quickly began to fill the dining room. What had started as an experiment of how many is too many cooks in the kitchen quickly turned into a sort of homecoming, a place where the gastronomic soul could rest and recharge. We spoke of everything from food to travel to trauma, quickly digging below the superficial surface. It's easy to let your guard down when you're stuffing squash blossoms. We laid the table and settled in. No assigned seating, just new friends, pasta, and contentment. For dinner, we gathered again, but this time not as strangers. We worked as sisters, aunts, brothers, fathers, enjoying every moment of creation, from rolling out the dough to standing over the heat of the ragu. I made a custard tart, torta alla nonna, and as we sat under the 10th century cathedral, we toasted each other in the meal that we created together. There's something incredibly magical about cuisine. It can take a group of complete strangers in the morning, and by the evening of the same day, have you sad to leave them to go to sleep. I invite you to welcome your friends, new and old, into your kitchens. Ask your grandmother or grandfather if they have any recipes to share with you. It's never too late to start making cuisine a priority and a delight. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. I hope you have a beautiful week and I'll see you next time for a new cooking tutorial.